In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May our Lord be with you. With your spirit. We celebrate today the Feast of St. Bartholomew. Let us all call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God, Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God, Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word that took our very flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, and you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And we pray. Strengthen us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son. Granted through the help of his prayers, your church may become for all nations a sacrament of salvation. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me, saying, Come here, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. He took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a mass of high wall with 12 gates, where 12 angels were stationed, and on which names were inscribed, the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had 12 courses of stones as its foundation, on which were inscribed the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord. And let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your, your friends, friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of, of your kingdom. kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your, your friends, friends make, make known, O Lord, 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 the glorious splendor of your kingdom. kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your, your friends, friends make known, O Lord, the glory and splendor of your kingdom. kingdom. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Philip found Nathanael and told him, He found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, the name Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. Nathanael said, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is the true child of Israel. There's no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to Jesus, How do you know me? Jesus answered, Before Philip even called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said, Do you believe because I told you I saw you under a fig tree? You'll see much greater things than that. He said to me, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you'll see the heavens open, the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
Now, I kind of hesitate to tell this story, but it's a true story. It happened just last night. My niece is relocating, as they're all relocating, to warmer climates. And I highly suspect that she will never relocate back here. It's just the way it is. We lose so many of our young people to better weather and better economic weather, but whatever. But we're having dinner at a local restaurant, not, not too far from where we're standing. It's not in North Scranton. And as some of you know, I, I'm not above uh, having some fun and games. See, I get there to the restaurant before the rest of my family. And for a dollar or so, and there's always a Holy Cross kid who buses or somebody I know who buses, and I'll give them a dollar to come up and ask me for my autograph, okay, which drives my family crazy when this happens. So I, I actually did not pay that girl. I just asked her to do it. She said she'd do it. Well, we're getting ready to order. I'd never been here before. I had my mask on. And the waitress, who I, I don't recall ever seeing before, I put my mask on, and she says, wait a minute. I know who you are. And I think, this isn't the girl I asked to do that. So, and my family's all like this, just with their heads down, you know? And it, that happens sometimes, because when you're a priest, you're well-known. Five minutes later, the girl I told her to come over and ask her, she comes over and asks her, no, not now. You should have come over before that girl did. <laughs> Whatever. But it makes the meal into an event, and that's the idea. You want everybody focusing on your table. Who's that over there? None of us is famous. Nobody here is well known. Not really. Bartholomew, I mean, yesterday we had Peter. And Jesus says, you are, you are Peter, and on this rock I'll build my church. James and John we know a pretty good deal about. Peter we know quite a bit about. We're not even sure who St. Bartholomew was. They think he's that Nathaniel. Scholars disagree. Uh, other than Peter, James, and John, the other guys, Thomas, we get one story, not much. Most of the apostles were pretty much nameless people. They were. They're not well known. We know, we know stuff from beyond the Bible and church tradition. We know some stuff. Not always sure how much of it's exactly accurate, but there's a lesson in that for us. Nobody here is famous. You're not. I'm not famous. Nobody, nobody knows when. None of us are going to appear in the you know, Catholic world book of famous people. Father God is not. I'm not. We're not. But in small ways and quiet ways, you, and I hope I and Father, live out our holiness. You don't have to be famous. In fact, it's better not to be famous. The more buildings they name after you and stuff like that, that's when the trouble starts. Your way of being holy for most of us is just simply raising our families, teaching kids to be good Christians in word and action, putting the gospel into practice, taking care of the poor, including people, welcoming people. That's our holiness. None of us is going to be famous. They don't write about us in the paper. But God knows. The papers might not know the holiness you have, the prayerfulness you have inside. God knows. The Grand Times might not. ABC might not. But God knows if we're trying to be holy, to live the gospel. And that makes us saints already. I hope we're all doing that. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to Almighty God. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope Francis and our Bishop Bambera, that they may preach God's word humbly and sincerely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they ensure their citizens are able to practice their religion without fear of discrimination or violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eventual eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Nan McHale, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. But God, we beg you to hear our prayers. Like Bartholomew, let us seek you, find you, and follow you. We make all our prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. As we celebrate anew the feast of Bartholomew, Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of this apostle, in whose honor we bring to you this sacrifice of praise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, the Eternal Shepherd, never leaves the flock untended, but through the apostles, watch over it, protect it always, that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so the angels, archangels, throne, demands, and all the powers of heaven, we praise you as we say, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper ending to get chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the eldest worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her devoted husband, St. Nathaniel, and Martin, St. Barnabas, and all of these the saints who have apostles, martyrs, and saints, who please you throughout the ages, May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. The live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We share some sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Take away 
behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord. And we pray that it may be of help to us, both now and in the life to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God bless us, all of our families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our liturgy ends, we prepare to come forward to receive the Eucharist. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 